Hey guys, how's it going? Now I am someone who recommends Telegram on a daily basis over WhatsApp, or at least used to. I used to recommend Telegram because of its freemium nature, or well, it used to be free nature, but now it's become freemium because they're offering a premium version. Yep, Telegram has announced the Telegram premium version for about four ninety nine or some odd rupees. Uh, the prices are on your screen right now and to be honest i don't really agree with that i mean let's be honest a lot of folks like not a lot of like the majority of people who use telegram for all of its features used it because it's free now if you're going to be investing money then they are our better alternatives of the for sure but that's not this video is about what i will be talking about in this video is well a list of apps that you can use instead of telegram that are still available for free or at least at a considerably cheaper price point as compared to Telegram and still offer a lot of premium features. Now keep in mind that there is no other app out there that offers an exact same suit as Telegram does because that's how good Telegram is. But at the same time, you can divide your focus onto certain factors of the application to get the best features in certain aspects. And that's what this video is all about. This is one from Guiding Tech and let's just jump right into it. Alright, so the first app on this list is for those who are concerned about their privacy. See, a lot of people shifted from WhatsApp to Telegram because of encrypted versions of chats. And well, if you want the top most encryption quality, there is nothing better than Signal. See, Signal Messenger has an exemplary end-to-end -end encryption which has been implemented by Meta and Google's messaging platforms. In fact, the only data that can be legally obtained from it is when the user signed up for the service and the last time that they used it. Not even Signal's developers get any access to any conversations on the app. What's more is that Signal can also be used as your primary messaging app, replacing your built-in SMS app on Android devices. In terms of privacy, Signal also provides you an option of blocking anyone from taking a screenshot of the conversation. All you have to do is just tap on the profile icon head over to privacy and enable screen security in comparison telegram only notifies you that a screenshot has been taken while signal completely prevents it speaking of prevention signal can also block your keyboard whether it's gboard or swift key from learning the users usage patterns or any other sensitive information that they may be typing out while using the chat messenger next up on this list we have element which once again is a very secure messaging app in element the app provides you an option to store the messages not to a developer servers but onto a user's own servers which means that you get much more ownership of your data when compared to telegram see when you are setting up your account you can choose to back up with a free server host your own server or even pay for one one neat feature about element that i really like is that in a group conversation the admin has the ability to permit or not permit a new arrival to see the messages that were prior to their joining the group. Next up, a lot of folks use Telegram for sharing files. And if that is what you're interested, well, one of the better options out there is ToxChat. See, ToxChat works with a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network and strong encryption of all calls, messages, and files that are shared through it. As a result, it does not use any central servers that can be rated or asked to provide access to the data. Now, like I said, the whole point of ToxChat is to replace Telegram when it comes to file limits. In fact, there are no bandwidth limits or caps on data being downloaded, so files can be shared without any limit to them. Alright, so moving along, next up on this list, we have Wicker Me. Now, the neat part here is that messages last in the Wicker server only till they are not delivered. Once the message is delivered, the message and the data gets deleted. So user communication can essentially never be leaked. Now, of course, there is a paid version for $4.99 per month that adds on more security features. But for most users, the free version still offers good features comparable to Telegram. Last on this list is a paid app, but it's an app that you probably might have already heard of. And the feature set is definitely good. It's called Threema and Here's what's so good about it. See, Threema does not need a phone number in order to make an account. The user just needs to create a username and password to make a Threema ID. All the servers here are located in Switzerland and are protected with the consumer protection laws of the country. The good part here is that Threema does not store your information on its servers. Your contact lists are managed on your devices and messages are not stored once they have been delivered. No log files are created and no personal information is collected in the process. What's more is that the app is also open source to enable full transparency. Now, like I said, it's not free per se, but it can be purchased with 
a single one time fee of rupees 349 which is still better than having a subscription with telegram on a monthly basis now of course there are other free alternatives like whatsapp your viber you have line you have wechat you know all of those apps but none of those apps are essentially that secure and you always risk uh, leaking your data and there is a passive limit in terms of file sharing as well so in that context this list should suffice now personally i feel the biggest hurdle here is asking users to shift a platform because that's the biggest hurdle when you talk about an alternative and that is one area where even telegram faced its biggest problems convincing users to shift from whatsapp to telegram so even right now if there are multiple platforms out there like enlisted which offer features comparable or in some ways are even better than telegram asking the majority of your users to shift from one platform to another can still be quite of a tedious task with that being said if you can convince users to shift this list of applications should definitely suffice your needs and as always you can find the download links to all of the apps that are out about down in the description box if you found this video helpful make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content also if you have any more suggestions about any other telegram alternatives that you would like to suggest to all of our viewers of the guide tech channel make sure to comment down below and we'll pin the best one out there till then this is one from guiding tech and i'll see you in the next one